myself Sivam Kalla. I am working as a design engineer in Smart Power Group at ST Microelectronics. My responsibilities are design and verification of analog blocks. I am Shashank Chaturvedi. I am senior design engineer in Smart Power team in ST Microelectronics. My major responsibilities is to do the layout of analog blocks in my team. So we are mainly working in the memory design group. So we have two kind of variation in our memory team. One is phase change memory and other one is the few time programmable memory. In our memory, we are currently working in the analog blocks. So main analog blocks are the ring oscillator and charge pump circuit. We are working with the process of BCD technology. So these are not the lower end technology. We are working on mainly high end technology like 180 nanometer, 90 nanometer. And these are triple weld technology which differentiate it from the basic CMOS technology. In custom analog design in our team, uh, we basically work on uh, the charge pumps and the oscillators. The charge pumps and oscillators, they have very critical nets. And in triple well, uh, maintaining the uh, criticality and matching all those nets properly is quite challenging. So uh, I think uh, the major challenge is to maintain the parasitic values as per the designer's requirement. So these are the major challenges we face. Virtue so EAD flow is uh, quite simple. Uh, in starting, what we need is that uh, the designer needs to load the constraints via constraint manager and uh, that gets replicated to the layout designer in the constraint manager side itself. So while we design, we can uh, refer to those, cons to those constraints uh, at the time of designing the layouts. So while making every single net, you are having a value of the net, the value of the current in the net, the value of the capacitance, the value of the resistance. So that makes the life quite easy because earlier what used to happen, we used to make the entire layout and then we used to simulate it. So this is where EAD helped a lot because the entire process of making the layout, getting the simulation done, getting the extraction results and then again referring with the schematic designer was a whole time taking process. Then the EAD uh, helped us a lot. It eases the life because it's giving all the constraints on the fly. And that's why I think it was very helpful for us. It saved a lot of time. EAD have uh, quite good features. A few of them that I liked, I'm gonna mention here. Uh, for example, first of all, it has a cool feature of RC parasitics extractions. So it gives you the RC values. We have checked those values with the simulation results and it gave us accuracy of up to 3 to 5%. That's a good value of accuracy. And uh, it's a cool feature. You should try it. Uh, another feature is the color coding. For example, you want to have a particular amount of current in a net. You can set the color that if the current goes beyond this value, it would flag red. Otherwise, it would be green. So while making the layout on the fly, it's a cool feature. You just get to know when you are exceeding the value of the current in the layout. Another feature is EMIR. So you just get to know the value of EMIRs while making the layout. That's also pretty cool. So these are a few cool features EAD have and I'm quite liking it. So we were designing a charge pump and we were facing one issue that after every cycles, there were the value of capacitance are changing. So it is taking too much of time. So when we heard about the Virtuoso EAD, we think that it will be a good choice. So we started using Virtuoso EAD and it gives the capacitance value on the fly. So we put our constraint in the schematic that can be imported by the layout designer in the layout. So it helps us very much in the design and also it reduce our project time around 40% thanks to EAD. I mean earlier what used to happen is that the schematic designer used to give us the constraints, we used to follow it and we used to make the layout accordingly, then we used to do the LVS, DRC, extraction and we used to give the values to the designer. The designer used to simulate it, whatever used to the feedback used to give us back, then we used to again change the entire layout and this was a whole time taking uh, process. Now, after I have used the EAD, I am doing the entire thing in a single flow. You know the designer's constraint, we can just uh, replicate it on, uh, on the layout window side. We can check on the fly that which part of the layout or which net of the layout is lagging the constraint that are given by the designer. So in that way, it's helping a lot. Means in a single go, we are, get, we are achieving 90 to 95% of accuracy as per the designer's expectation. So this is where it's helping a lot and it's saving a lot of time means in a single cycle we are completing the entire layout and that's what a good point about EAD is.